Hello everyone! There is currently some downtime due to the delayed patch 2.7, so I think it's a great time for another account review. And since I want to make this kind of an annual thing for my two active accounts, we will have a look at my casual F2P account instead. What I mean by casual is I played a lot during the first few patches for about half a year I'd say, and after that I pretty much only logged on when I felt like playing some of the characters I only have on this account. Alright, same format as always, character, weapon and artifact count first, then a little segment about money, spoiler, this account is completely free to play, and to finish it off, I'll show every build in detail while listing some random facts about this account. And to start it off, like always, my three favorite characters, I only have Ningguang here, the other ones are Yai and Raiden. As for characters, I have 4 limited 5 stars, Venti, Child, Albedo and Zhao, all of them at constellation 0. Out of the standard 5 star units, I have 2 out of 5, Keqing constellation 2 and Mona constellation 0. As for 4 stars, I am only missing Sayu, Sara, Toma and Goro, and I have 2 4 star units at constellation 6. I have 15 characters somewhat leveled, but only about 10 are built at a given time due to the amount of weapons and artifacts I have. 5 are fully ascended, 4 at ascension level 5, and 6 at ascension 4. As for crowns, I used 5 of them, I triple crowned my Ningguang, and I used 1 crown on each Keqing and Venti. As for weapons, I have 4 5 star weapons, one of them at refinement rank 2, which I honestly think is pretty good, probably above average, and 4 star weapons, I have 7 at level 90, 4 of them at refinement rank 5, I think this is definitely where this account is kind of lacking a little bit. As for artifacts, I have 80 of them leveled up to plus 20, which I think is about in line with my other accounts in relation to playtime. I'll also put up a breakdown of the sets I'm using on screen, and I won't go over every single artifact, but you will see the ones I'm using later when I show the builds. Like I said, it is a casual account, so I'm not using an artifact optimizer, meaning I can't really tell you anything about substat efficiency. But if I had to show my best artifacts, it might be something like this. I farmed a lot of noblesse set here, so these look pretty decent in my opinion. How much money did I spend on Genshin Impact? Like I said, this account is completely free to play. Obviously, I can't really show you anything, you kind of just have to take my word for it. And I'm not opposed to spending. In total, I spent like 600 bucks on this game to this date, which I consider plenty, especially considering this game is less than two years old. And yes, I'm aware that it pales in comparison to a lot of people, especially here on YouTube. I guess I'm just prone to some cost fallacy, so I don't feel comfortable to go too hard with my like actual money. So. If this channel ever gets monetized, I would treat it like a gaming budget, play money or whatever you want to call it to go away some more without having to feel too bad if I ever lose interest in this game. Alright, now I will show every character I build. Feel free to pause when you are interested in a build and it's going too fast. But to be quite honest, a lot of these builds are very 2020 or maybe 2021, so let's just say they are outdated. Nothing worth copying. Same as last time, while I show this, I will talk about some random stuff related to this account, just so that there is something to listen to. When I started writing this, the account was uh, probably around 590 days or though I don't really remember, and I logged in on 314 of those days. This means I created it during the beginning, I remember getting Venti on the very first banner, I think it even showed earlier in this video that I got him in October 2020. I have been active on this account for the first 4 or 5 patches, but since I started the third account in patch 1.3, it turned out to be way too repetitive, I know, who would have thought. So I decided to go super casual on this one. That means up until patch 1.5, I logged in every day, spent resin, did dailies and events, etc. And after that, I pretty much ignored all of that, with the exception of the first reruns for Albedo and Zhao. I actually played quite a lot in farming gems during that time, just to get them. I completed most of the pre-Inazuma content, I unlocked every zone in Inazuma, did the Archon quest, but I didn't diverge too much from the path to like pick up chests or do side quests and I didn't even unlock the chasm yet. 
In terms of account progression, this account is fairly similar to my other ones during their first year, so again there's no way to check this, but to give you an estimate from my resin usage, I'd say about 15% went towards ley lines and character or weapon specific materials, and the vast majority at 85% went towards artifact domains. I also never really went out of my way to farm anything, no crystal ore or overworld artifact runs. I also only have older characters that don't require any Inazuma materials, so I already had most of them from, from the time I played this account fairly actively in the beginning. Now some random stats. I'm adventuring 56 at 128,000 experience, which is obviously fairly low for an account created in patch 1.0. I have 245 achievements, I don't bother to farm them and the same applies to name cards, I just happen to get 19. I looted close to 1500 chests, again fairly low for the current patch. As for the teapot, I haven't finished the progression system yet, but I unlocked the weekly shop and generate the maximum currency to buy things there. You might already know my opinion on web events, I honestly just think they are terrible and I stopped doing them a very long time ago. And the same applies to daily check-ins on the Mehoyo website because the rewards aren't worth going out of my way to log in there in my opinion. And lastly, I realized that I pretty randomly named three characters in the beginning as my favorite ones, so in case you are interested, let me give you the reason behind it. First of all, I think they all look great, and there might even be some similarities by which you might be able to discern a certain type I prefer, I guess. As for Ningguang and Yai, I think they are pretty similar if you think about it. Placing down structures with their elemental skills, destroying them with their burst skills for big damage, which also resets the cooldown of the elemental skill to place it down again. I just love that interaction. As for the last one, I love Hu Tao, I think she is super funny, but I have to give it to Raiden. Even though I think she's a little boring and I know they were kind of going for that, she's a puppet with no emotions after all. But the reason I like her is again just gameplay related, she's just very exciting to play, which I value higher. The characters you see from here are ascended and have their talents leveled, but they are pretty much naked in terms of artifacts and weapons. So feel free to skip and that's pretty much all I have to say about this account. So I just shut up now and come back at the end. Alright, we made it to the end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was somewhat interesting to you and I'll see you back next time. Until then, have fun and bye bye.